In looking back over 2022, the Connecticut Rivers Council has a lot to celebrate. After finally being able to largely put COVID in the rearview mirror, it was time to reopen scouting. Not only did we do that, we did it with a bang. From summer camps to the scout show in the fall, our programs were incredible. Our membership growth was unprecedented. As President Abraham Lincoln said, whatever you are, be a good one. Well, we're a Boy Scout Council, and we're a great one, thanks to each and every stakeholder in this awesome program. Over the next few minutes, we're eager to share some of the victories our council enjoyed in 2022. First, let's briefly summarize who we are. As you know, our programs are all about instilling in young people the values of the Scout Open Hall. The magic is, they get to have fun while they learn. We serve kids through a variety of programs. First is Cub Scouting for elementary school boys and girls. In 2022, we served 3,907 Cub Scouts through 131 local Cub Scout packs. Next is our Scouts BSA program, where we teach young men and women in middle and high school how to be outstanding, empathetic leaders. We serve 3,541 Scouts in 198 local troops. Finally, we have a variety of programs that serve a variety of age groups, including STEM Scouts, Venturing, and Career Exploring. Between those, we served an additional 941 kids in 35 labs, posts, and crews. With the economic uncertainty that was pervasive in 2022, there were many families in our community that would likely not have been able to participate in scouting without a little help. As always, our council's executive board, donors, sponsors, and foundations answered the call in a big way. Thanks to your support, we were able to award more than $50,000 in membership fee assistance through a Husky card program, as well as more than $20,000 in camperships to allow hundreds of scouts to enjoy the great benefit of a vibrant summer camp program. We continue to remain committed to mitigating costs as a barrier to participation in our life-changing on your screen, you'll see a variety of membership highlights from 2022 that we should be very proud of. Nationally, the Boy Scouts of America saw total membership growth of 3%. Here in our communities, the Connecticut Rivers Council grew membership by 13%. It was truly outstanding to watch our programs bounce back after the difficulties we faced during the pandemic. As we look to rebuild our membership foundation, we focused a lot of effort on Cub Scout recruiting. That effort paid off to the tune of 17% growth in Cub Scouts by the end of 2022. Along the way, we added full-time staff members back to our field team, started 35 new units, had outstanding retention, and added a variety of new tools that units can borrow from the council office to support their recruiting efforts. All of these achievements were monumental, and they were thanks to the untiring efforts of unit leaders, district and council volunteers, and our staff. As you may be aware, the Connecticut Rivers Council serves units through four geographic districts. Each has a district key three, including a district chair, district commissioner, and district professional who are tasked with leading the four functions of district service, program, finance, membership, and unit service. The scouting program requires financial resources in order to be vibrant and successful. Both stakeholders and the community at large stepped up in a big way to support the Connecticut Rivers Council in 2022 through special event sponsorships, donations, and purchasing popcorn. Our scouts sold more than $400,000 in popcorn with 72% of the proceeds coming back to scouting. This sale helps support the council, but more importantly, it helps units and scouts to have an outstanding outdoor program. Our council held six special events in 2022 with more than half a million dollars in support. Finally, there were more than 500 individual donors who made generous contributions to the Connecticut Rivers Council. On your screen is a chart displaying where Connecticut Rivers Council revenue comes from. For 2022, camping revenue, membership fees, and special events made up 76.2% of total revenue. The Connecticut Rivers Council is committed to ensuring that stewardship of scouting funds results in tangible program support. As you can see, 81% of all funds spent by our council in 2022 were in direct support of program services. In addition to individual donors and corporate sponsorship, the Connecticut Rivers Council enjoys the outstanding support of many local foundations. Some of these foundations appear on your screen. 
A full listing of foundations that support our council can be found at ctscouting.org slash foundation support. As mentioned previously, our council conducted a variety of special events in 2022, including the Council Golf Classic, Orvis Sporting Clays, Salute to Youth Dinner, Outstanding Leadership Award Reception, and Our Influential Women. Some of our largest sponsors from 2022 are shown on your screen. A full list of corporations that sponsor the Connecticut Rivers Council can be found at ctscouting.org slash corporate dash sponsors. Everything we do as a council is in support of the scouting program and the incredible outcome for both young people and our communities. We are immensely proud of what our scouts achieved in 2022 and some selected triumphs can be seen on your screen. Our scouts and leaders provided more than 44,000 community service hours in our communities in 2022, including food drives, neighborhood cleanup events, and Eagle Scout service projects. We had more than 4,000 of our council scouts attend an area summer camp, and 3,500 scouts from our council and others attended summer camp at one of our council's properties. 289 young men and women earned the Eagle Scout rank, 10,555 merit badges were earned, and more than 5,000 rank advancements were awarded. These achievements show that, without a doubt, the scouting program is active and vibrant in the Connecticut Rivers Council. As mentioned, more than 3,500 scouts attended summer camp at Camp Mattituck, June Norcross Webster Scout Reservation, and Camp Porcoman. 3,528 to be precise. We want to take a moment here to say thank you to our unit leaders who attended summer camp in 2022. You had plenty of choices when it comes to how you want to spend your summer vacation. By choosing to participate at scout camp, you enabled your scouts to have life-changing experiences. This achievement is not possible without you. We also want to thank our camp staffers. Working at summer camp is arduous, and there aren't many BMWs in the staff parking lot. Your sacrifices are noticed and most definitely appreciated. There is an adage that all scouting is local. Scouting doesn't happen at the council office or at district committee meetings. It happens in churches, firehouses, VFW halls, and other facilities in our communities where units meet. Our job as a council is to support and enhance those unit efforts. In 2022, our council hosted a scout show at Adam Neck Fairground. More than 1,300 scouts participated in what was an absolutely amazing weekend. We also developed programs with outside partners like UConn and the New England Air Museum to bring subject matter experts into our merit bench programs. We were also able to make capital investments in our camp properties to ensure that units continue to have fun, safe, and enriching adventures for generations to come. For the first time in several years, scouting programs finally felt like they returned to normalcy in 2022. Between Klondike Derbies, Spring Camp Marie's, Summer Camp, and the Scout Show in October, scouts were able to come together and see how awesome scouting is outside of their home units. 17% growth in Cub Scout membership was just what our council needed to ensure that scouting programs will remain strong into the future as these scouts and families work through Cub Scouting and matriculated the Scouts BSA troops in, in a few years. Our heartfelt thanks and admiration goes out to everyone who helped make scouting better in 2022. None of this would have been possible without you.